Hey everybody, Michael Britt here, and I wanted to show you a new tool, actually a new feature of a tool that's been around for a long time. It's called ThingLink, and you really should take a look at it if you're into e-learning. So, uh, ThingLink.com. So, um, it started out as a tool that helped you to just put little tags on images, and then if people clicked or tapped on the tag, another sort of uh, medium would pop up, and that could be just text, could be another image, could be a YouTube video. So there was a lot of neat stuff that it started out doing, and then over the years, it became more and more powerful. So recently, I tried out one of their new tools, which is called the Scenario Builder. And this is pretty cool. If you can imagine that it's a, it's a kind of a choose-your-own-adventure sort of tool where learners begin with a challenge of some type and then they make decisions. They click on buttons. What would you do next? And it goes this way or that way. And um, so it, it's an attempt to give a more immersive experience rather than just uh, lecturing, let's say, or reading about a topic. So I wanted to give it a try, and I thought, all right, well, what's something that in the past I've just simply lectured on or told students to read? And of course, a popular topic is Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Hopefully you've heard of this. It's a little triangle that has a, you know, five needs that start with, uh, you know, physiological needs, needs to eat, safety needs, you need to, you know, have a roof over your head, belongingness, you need to you know, be with other people, meet new people. Self-esteem, you need to feel good about yourself. And finally, self-actualization, you know, the realization of your talent. Okay, so instead of lecturing, I thought, all right, let me, let me imagine first how would I create a scenario, uh, a, a situation that I would put my learner in uh, that they would have to explore. So I thought... Well, what if it's the sort of the, an old idea, the old you're stranded on a desert island thing. So uh, I thought, okay, that could be pretty neat. You're stranded on a desert island. What do you do next? And of course, according to the Maslow theory, the first thing you do is get is physiological. You make sure you have something to eat. Right? There's a lot of things you could do, but you might want to get something to eat. You might look for other people. So the thing about Maslow's hierarchy is that you don't have to go up it. You can you can move around it. Uh, but if students are first learning it, it's good to first learn the, uh, these, these levels. So you're, what you're looking at is a first screen of the uh, scenario that I built. And so students would find this inside, let's say, an e-learning course, or you can share it uh, to social media. I posted it on, Ling think, uh, on uh, LinkedIn. It's just kind of, you know, a neat learning experience. So the, there is an island, and you click on, in this case, and you don't want to have too many of these little tags. You click on a tag right here, this tag, uh, very simply, uh, tells them you're stranded. And I also added a little audio, so there's some little waves flowing. Not necessary, but, you know, it's okay. So, uh, you know, for reasons unknown, you wake up, you find yourself alone on a desert, deserted island. What do you do? And then you have to click the X button to end this. And then there's a proceed button in the upper uh, right side. So you go, so you, you, you know where you are, you hit the proceed button. Okay, and this is the first branch that I created. What do you do first? And so before creating this in ThingLink, I started with a, a concept map. And there are lots and lots of those tools, great tools out there for concept mapping. Uh, I chose, uh, in this case, a uh, tool called Miro, which is pretty neat. And now you can see, that, you know, this took a little while. I wanted to flesh out every choice point and what the options would be and what the consequences would be of that action and then what would happen, how would I get them back. So I'm, I'm kind of guiding them. You know, it's multiple choice like, uh, but hopefully it's, it's a bit more, again, uh, immersive. So there's all these choices and uh, it starts, of course, with this root note, which you, uh, node, which you just saw. You're stranded on an island. Uh, what do you do next? And so then I started to kind of brainstorm up. I mean, I know the right answer is go get something to eat. But other things could be, and these are other stages on Maslow's hierarchy, although you could just yell for help, right? What would be the consequence of that? Okay, well, nobody's around to hear you, so try something else. And you go back and you get the four questions again. Well, you could build a hut, which is a great idea, but I, I came up with an answer. It's like, well, yeah, but you're getting hungry, so maybe you want to go somewhere else. 
So all the choices are, are in this map. And it looks a little complex, and you don't have to do this step, but I found it useful because you could sort of build this all inside of ThingLink. Here's what that same map looks like inside of ThingLink, and I'll just zoom out. And you can see all the choice points are all along in here. And some of the tools that I used for images, uh, Wikimedia Commons was very helpful. Um, free sound library it was very helpful. I found the, the, you know, the water rushing, uh, the waves on the uh, ocean. Uh, and another tool, which is pretty neat, uh, which uh, the ThingLink people turned me on to, and it's called Skybox uh, Block, Blockade Labs. Check this out. Very cool. It allows you, you use text. It's an AI kind of tool. You describe the scene you want. In this case, I described like an island. Um, you put it in here. I need an island uh, beach with a hut, for example. And I'm going to make that realistic. There's all possible kinds of other styles you can use. And then uh, it generates the image that you, and you can generate, of course, more images until you find the one you want. And uh, it doesn't take too long. I'm just going to pause for a second till it comes on. Okay, and so here's what it generated, which is generated the inside of a hut, which is pretty cool. So it's a 3D image, realistic, of the inside of a hut. And I could have used this in my, um, in my ThingLink scenario builder. So check out this tool. Very cool. Okay, so let me just so kind of wrap it up. I do want to show you what it looks like. So if you were to walk through this scenario builder, hopefully you might say, well, I'm going to go find food. All right, and so you come down here, and uh, this is a little. I'm going to zoom in on these things. You get to this branch, and that is what I'd, I'd like you to do. So there goes a little clapping, some image of clapping hands from Wikimedia Commons. Great idea. Okay, so the coconut. You got some coconuts. Now what do you do? You've got some food. So you close that, and again you click the proceed button. So here we are now. What do you do? You you've, uh, you can go look for people now if you want. You can skip stones across the water if you want to. You can always uh, go fulfill that dream. You've always wanted to be an artist. Now that's what I'm thinking is sort of the uh, self, self-actualization one. But it's not time for that because you have food but you don't have a hut. So when I built the response, I found a picture of a person drawing, uh, you know, on the, on the island um, but I make it clear that this is probably the wrong answer because you died. <laughs> nice drawing, but while you're learning the fine art of perspective, it starts to rain, you get blown out to sea, and you drown. Is there a better thing you should be doing right now? And hopefully that is a clue to the learner that they should probably build a hut. All right, and that's what they go there. And here's my 3D uh, hut at the side of the uh, ocean. And there's a couple of uh, things, you know, that's, hey, nice looking hut. Now what do you do? Okay, I think you get the sense. I encourage you to give this a try. Check out ThingLink Scenario Builder. It is really a very cool tool. All right, well, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.